Back with a story all new at 11. After losing her three children and her mother-in-law in a fire, a Gloucester woman is giving back to the community who helped her during her darkest time. Can't imagine what she went through. Seven-year-old Tommy Grogan, two-year-old Michael, and six-month-old Gabriel were killed back in January. Their grandmother, Virginia, died after she ran back into their burning home on Somerville Road. That's what's left of it. That's right off Route 17 near the Gloucester Courthouse. Turn on your side, Jason Marks joins us in the newsroom with an update to her story. Jason? Yeah, and as you can imagine, this fire was devastating for her. She lost her only three children, but now she has a plan to make sure their lives weren't taken in vain. Gloucester's Jessica Grogan knows all about loss. We're starting the rebuild. On a bitter cold January night, fire erupted inside her home. A lot of the nightmares have gone. You know, I had one a couple of weeks ago and it was really bad. A nightmare isn't even the word to describe what she went through. She was saved from the burning home. Her mother-in-law and three young boys weren't as lucky. But in my mind, I knew when nobody came out after me, after I made it to the neighbors, and it, that was it. The house is now gone, soon to be rebuilt. That's how hot it was. I mean, that was probably about 15 feet away. Jessica is rebuilding her life. Part of that is giving back to a community who helped her when she needed it most. When the actual fire happened. We were only given three days in a hotel by the Red Cross and then we had nowhere to go. She and her husband were essentially homeless. It only takes one person to change somebody's life. Jessica, along with a couple of friends, have formed a group inspired by the idea of creating change. They started a Facebook page called Make the Homeless Smile Worldwide. They hope to convince people everywhere to get out and help a neighbor. There are homeless people everywhere. You know, you don't know what situation happened to them. For Jessica, the cause is near to the heart. It's also about finishing what a seven-year-old started. Little Tom, he was my angel. Even when he was here, he was still an angel in disguise. In his short time on earth, her son Thomas learned the meaning of giving. She says he wanted to give to everyone. And an example of that was when he gave his piggy bank away to help victims of the tornado that hit Gloucester. If a seven-year-old can do it, grown-ups can do it too. And by helping others, she's helping Thomas's vision live on. I've realized that this is what I'm still here for, to carry on what he wanted to carry on while he was still here. The mission by Jessica and her group is really at the ground floor here. It's just the beginning. Now, they're holding an event September 28th. That's the day when they want everyone to go out and do something, no matter how large or small, nice for someone else. Now, you can find more information about that event at wavy.com. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.